standing in room when your man confessed one of us was Mole. He didn't say your name, right? He didn't describe your face. He doesn't even know if you're Soviet, Chinese, or VC. And he couldn't because I've never told anyone who you are, Nikolai. All my men know is that I have a highly reliable, highly confidential source of information. Markov is not a stupid man. Yeah, so neither are you. You tell him whatever he needs to hear, you march back into his room, tell him you'll find the turncoat. That's no longer possible. Wanna tell me why? I've arrived in Vientiane. So, long way from Hanoi. I need to know I can enter Thailand. Once I'm to Bangkok, I can do rest. We both know the checkpoint is under path that loud control, Nikolai. And we both know different men control different right out from Vianchen, and those men need to know I'm coming if I'm to pass. What makes you think the company controls Vianchen's back door? Will you let them know I'm arriving? Where'd you hear that we control Vianchen's back door? Will you? Please, let them know who I am. Right now, I need you to go back to Hanoi. You told me you would get me out. And I will. But... Not now. No, not now. Not ever. No, not now. When this war is over, right now, I need you in Hanoi. Nothing you've said that indicates you've been burned, all right? Go back, give Markov a great show, hunt for the mole, put some poor gook's head on a pike. And when this war ends, I will fly you to the White House, I'll give you a fucking parade, but until this war ends, until this war ends, I'm your handler, Nikolai. I decide when you need to be extracted. Mr. Howard Simons. I'm here, Nikolai. So. I'm not sure what you want me to say. You heard Mr. Anthony Greenwood. I heard him turn you down. I heard him order you back to Hanoi. You asked for proof. Now you have it. You know I'm CIA. I said you know I supplied Greenwood with information. You know the CIA is still in Laos. Look, Nikolai. I'm just a newsman. I run a newspaper. Sometimes I get to catch bad people doing bad things, but most of the time, I just make the trains run on time. Washington Post is a powerful paper. Not powerful enough to piss off the CIA. An only powerful man can control such powerful paper. I don't need my ass kissed. I know who I am. And I know what got me here. I deal with the CIA every day. Anthony Greenglass is a high-ranking agency project manager. While I heard him confirm who you are, I also heard him tell you no. Whatever it is you want from me is more than I can give. I need you to put me on a plane. I won't put you on a plane. You have a story to tell? Great. I still don't know what the story is, but no story is worth crossing the CIA. This is a different story. Every story is a different story, but in the end, every story is the same. Well, Mr. Anthony Greenglass is using weaponized sarin in Laos. Mr. Howard Simons. His 
his men have killed thousands throughout northeast Laos. When wind blows correct direction, enemy is killed. When wind changes direction, entire village is killed instead. And Mr. Anthony Greenglass will continue to use his dogpile of nerve gas until he's exposed. Sir so Howard Simons. Are you still there? Yeah. So, let me get this straight. You're accusing a CIA manager and a team of special forces of committing the worst possible kind of war crimes. Is that it? Do you believe me, Mr. Howard Simons? <laughs> Got any proof? Microfish, dates, names, locations, pictures, everything. <clears throat> what do you need? Get me to Bangkok. From Bangkok, I will fly to Mexico. You will insist on seeing proof before taking me to America. This is reasonable. You have um, many journalists in Mexico. Uh, Scott Webb is in Mexico City. 50 kilometers south of Juarez is a band in prison named Puerto Cobre. Mr. Scoway will meet me there, I will get him evidence, and he will get me to America. It'll take me uh, half an hour to arrange the details. Can you stay by this one? I am comfortable where I am. Okay, I'll, I'll get you your plane ticket, Nikolai. You'll get to Bangkok, Scott will meet you in Mexico. You'll get a chance to prove whether you're telling the truth or not. If your evidence is convincing, we'll help you get across the border, but... There are so many ways this could go south. If you're another Goliath, my career is over. And you'll be locked up far away in a place that doesn't exist. If what you say is true, and Green Glass finds out we talked, we're both dead men. I am KGB agent, Mr. Howard Simons. There's no need to talk to me like common man. Don't leave the room. Don't make any phone calls. Don't order room service. Don't even let the maid in to make the bed. When you get to the airport, you wait in a bathroom stall till five minutes before your flight leaves. Don't do anything. Anything that lets anyone get anywhere near you. Green Glass is not going to get his hands dirty on this one. He'll send someone else. You can count on it. I look forward to your next phone call, Mr. Howard Simons. Yeah. Harper. Your status report is overdue. I had to drive to Davison to find another flight. Davison must be a goddamn good reason. You know what? From the moment you called, I've been making this happen. Okay, I missed the flight at Quantico, but I caught one at Davison. Now I'm here, and I'm on time for the meeting. Let me do my job. <sighs> Your mess is now my mess, Harper. If the Post confirms Dzerzhinsky's story, we are both gonna spend a lot of time in jail, pal. Did I fuck up by helping you out of last? No, you didn't. I'm here, Greenglass. And I'm on time. Webb spending the next few days in a Juarez jail cell, and Nikolai Dzerzhinsky's only one man. The situation's under control. No, not until that shitty old Chikisti's dead and the evidence is gone. That's exactly what I'm doing. Your next dance report is 1400. Better be done by then.
out gun and place in front of camera. Take out gun and place in front of camera. Stop talking now. I, there is only sound maker, no sound receiver. I cannot hear you and I cannot read mouth. Do you understand? You put gun in front of camera after I tell you where to arrive to me. Do not leave! Put gun in front of camera. Do not make situation complex. Come, come back now! Do not... My terms are reasonable terms. You do not need gun for meeting. Okay, okay, okay. You keep gun. You keep gun. Show me identification and I tell you where to arrive. You walk towards tall arches, walk through red doors. You will be in lobby right there for my next instruction. Speakers, it's a lot of work for a simple meeting. <laughs> Equipment has been here a long time. You know a lot about this place. My uh, country uses listening posts for many years. Listening posts? For what, White Sands? <laughs> there is much of interest to my country in New Mexico. So you were stationed here? How long? We can small talk on way to El Paso. Place gone on ground. Back to that, huh? Place gone on ground now. Look, threatening me isn't going to get me to hand you my weapon. Please, to repeat, I, I do not understand. I'd be fucking nuts to hand over my weapon after you just raise yours. Uh, we can both place our guns on ground together. I'm not spending an hour cleaning my weapon because you're paranoid. I, I asked much politely. Congratulations. The answer's still no. Done sizing me up? I, I don't know, I understand. Let's make this simple. Okay, you show me the evidence. I'll look at the evidence. If the evidence is real, then I escort you into America. No. The evidence is here. You planning on showing it to me? Let me see your identification. You already saw my ID. I would like to see your identification again. Fine. Here's my goddamn ID. It's not necessary to curse. Just fucking check it! I'm not sure when Americans begin cursing much casually, but it's not a normal way to speak. No other culture curses like America. In English is such big language, so many words. French words, Spanish words, German words, Latin words, and yet Americans can only say fuck you and goddamn me. If you knew any Americans, you know we don't say goddamn me. But you understand my meaning. We speak like this when we're stressed out. What is stressed out? Under distress. I am under distress as well. I do not need to curse God or speak of intimate acts for lovers. 
You want to look at my ID? I am examining your identification. What is origin of Webb? Excuse me? What is origin of your family name? I don't know. We're American. I don't give a shit where our name comes from. But you know the origin of your family, yeah? What I'd like to know is when I could see the evidence. I will tell you what I know. I know you're not KGB. When KGB learns English, he does not learn how to curse American style. I know you're not Mossad because Israeli does not defame God. You are not MI6 because British would know that Webb is English name. It means weaver. Did you know this? If you want me to take you to America, Nikolai, I'm gonna need to see the evidence. What concerns me is how you speak of your gun. You said uh, weapon. I gave you opportunity to say a different word again. You said weapon. Military says word weapon. CIA says word weapon. Journalists would most likely say word gun. You refuse to throw your gun onto the floor. Because you value your weapon, yeah? That's right. Throw your identification on the floor with no hesitation. If I wanted to harm you, Nikolai... You would wait for me to give you evidence. My name is Scott Webb. This is what your identification says. We can walk out to my car right now and call my boss. That is most considerate of you. I would also like to be considerate. This is CIA-issued SSB transceiver. Self-scrambling with modified handset is state of art. If weather permits, we can call half of the world, so we do not need to use our car phone. We can call Mr. Howard Simons now. If you reach for your weapon, I will shoot you. What's this? This passport. No shit. Is there more? Is there more? There is nothing I can say you can trust. And there is nothing I can say to save my life. Yeah, I guess that's true. It does not matter now. I know where you are. And you are almost out of bullets. 
I have other gun as well. There's no more.